The A7 Emporia Armani Milan season took off with the arrival of Daniel Hackett, one of Italy's most representative players in terms of talent, charisma and even in terms of looks. However, the blood that flows through his veins is not just Latin of origin. I was born and raised in Italy before moving to the US uh, and uh, you know, following my dad path in, uh, in high school and uh, in university. And uh, after, after my time was done in the States, I came back, I came back overseas. There is one characteristic that Daniel possesses that makes him even more versatile. I use both hands. I mean, I, I grew up as a right-hand guy. Uh, also, when I started playing basketball, I was a right-hand shooter until I started shooting with my left. And I don't know why, maybe, maybe I saw some players that I like, maybe, I don't, maybe it was Ginobili, I don't know. Daniel made his debut in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague last year with Montepaschi Siena, and he played for the club until last December. Well, it wasn't easy because I had to make a big adjustment, uh, especially from the way I was playing. Um, in Siena, was, I was a, a big part of the, of the offense and also, uh, uh, you know, one of the leaders. Uh, coming in Milan, I had to adjust because I had so many weapons around me. But the system is similar because the coach that we have in Milan was the coach we had in Siena last year. His career is in rapid ascent and he has taken inspiration from three stars of the game. Dejan Bodiroga, his talent and his, uh, his technique was something of, of a different level. Alfonso Ford was another great scorer that, uh, that I remember from the time in Pesaro. Um, and he was, he was a force of nature. As my third, I would have to say my old teammate Bobby Brown because um, of how easy he's, he's able to score and uh, the performance that he had in, uh, in Fener, but the last season when he scored 41 points was, was something that, uh, that I witnessed next to him, so it was something that's, that stuck in my head. Three masters of the perimeter that all fit into his philosophy of the game. Guards are the ones that win basketball games. Uh, the big man can carry you for long stretches, but in the end uh, are the guards that handle the ball and make the, the primary decisions. 